Why is nobody talking about this? Why not promote your project on LinkedIn? Everybody is using Twitter, they're using Instagram, they're shilling on Reddit and on Discord. But where are all of the blockchain developers? Where are all of the serious marketing people? Probably on LinkedIn. So if you are looking for a way to get some help on your link on your NFT project, or if you're just looking to promote your NFT project, uh, LinkedIn is a great untapped resource that you can use to promote your NFT project. Now, why do I say untapped? Because nobody is promoting their NFT project on LinkedIn. And now when we add automation to this mix, this just becomes an amazing time-saving opportunity that we can leverage to promote and boost our NFT project to the stars or to the moon. In this video, I will show you and I will share with you the code that I have used to create this automation that you are seeing right now. So this automation has already sent five messages so far. Now we are going to stop it. This automation that you see right here, I'm going to show you in this video how it works and how you can build it yourself. I will also share with you the code for this automation as well, but I do advise you to watch the entire video so that you understand how the automation works so that you can fine tune it for your own purposes. Now, this tool is entirely 100% for free, meaning that you don't have to pay anything. Why not download it? And it's also from Microsoft and not from some shady website in the dark web. If we go to Power Automate Desktop, unless you have Windows 11, then you have it already on your system. But if you just search for it, you can download it for free and start using it. I have left the link for this code right in the description of this video. So this is the web page that you are going to go to. I'm going to walk you through all of the steps that you have to do. So it is very easy. All you have to do is copy all of this text from line one all the way until the bottom. Once you have copied all of the text, you can go to your Power Automate. I hope you have installed it, unless it's already installed on your computer, and you can create a new flow. So we're gonna call this LinkedIn Send Messages. All right, now that we have created a new blank Canva in Microsoft Power Automate desktop, this is a tool that is going to allow us to create amazing automations that will help us save loads and loads of time. So remember, we were previously on this website. We copied all of the text with Control and C. Now, right in here, if we click inside and we click Control and V, or just paste all of the code right here, we should get all of the uh, all of the code that I have prepared. Now, if you run this, this process should work. Let me walk you through this process very quickly. The entire process starts mainly in this part right here where we are launching a new crawl. Now, all of these that you see here, these are actions that we can find right here. Actions are things that our automation is going to do, like click on a button, download something, copy some text, spam a person, and so on. All right, so this first action is to launch Chrome. Once we launch Chrome, we are going to go directly to the link that we need to. So here is a little tip for you. Don't automate, if you're building a, another process, don't automate all of the steps that you need to automate. So instead of navigating all the way from the sign-in page all the way until the search page, I already signed in and I already took this link right here that is going to be the link where I'm going to navigate to. So this is going to save me a couple of extra steps in development so that I don't have to develop these steps. So the next thing that we have to do is we have to click on a couple of buttons. So we have to press a button on a web page. The easiest way to do that is using a recorder. Using a recorder that is going to allow you to create all of different interactions with a browser or an application. You can play around with it and try it out. I have left the links to the Discord server where you can get some help if you are uh, interested in learning a little bit more about automation, NFTs, and these topics in general. So what are the other actions that we have here? We have another uh, action to press a button to populate some text. So this is where we're gonna add, insert the text inside of our process. And uh, that's pretty much it. Now, the next major things that you see in this process are these loops right here. So loops allow us to repeat a certain 
action there are also actions right here and we can find any of these actions just by searching for it by inputting the text in here so loop i would have to just drag and drop it and then set how many times i want it to do a certain thing so in this example i wanted to click on the connect button and send a message 10 times after that or previously to that i wanted to go through the different pages if we go to the linkedin page and we can navigate to the linkedin page just by testing out our automation that we have just created so uh, what we want our automation to do is we wanted to uh, click on connect add a note and then insert the text now i've used this automation a couple of minutes ago and i'm already receiving some feedback from uh, different people that seem to be interested in knowing or learning more about the application so that is great it seems to be a great way of promoting our project on linkedin especially because nobody is using it so far and if we enhance our skills with automation that just gives us a boost one last thing that i want to show you that's pretty important is in this connect button right here this first button that is the key and most important part of this automation if you go to your ui elements on the right side right here and click on this connector you're gonna see this strange looking thing so what is this strange looking thing this is just how this application knows where to click on the web page and what is this strange looking stuff here this is just a hierarchy of html code where that element is located html body div 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 and so on i can't really read it but more or less uh, what we have to know is that right here where we have the loop index this is where i've added a variable that increments well this is a dynamic variable that is created when we insert a loop uh, that is going to increment this number from one two three four five six seven and so on why is this important because if we go back to our page and if we see that we have different connect buttons so this is connect button one this is two three four five six seven and so on and that means basically that uh, we don't want to just click on it once we want to click on it 10 times so that's basically what this uh, that part does and the last part of this process is that i have created here is that uh, after we've clicked on 10 buttons after that we are going to change this page so we're going to change the page but we're going to change page by changing the link right here so we're not going to navigate to a different page we're just going to change this to number five and go to the next page why because it is easier and this is done right here so at the end of all of our process we're going to close the web browser increment another variable that is right here this variable right here we're going to increment it and we're going to set our counter inside of here again to zero this is this is actually not 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 necessary anymore and this is our automation I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you're interested in learning more about NFTs automation, I am creating a masterclass on NFTs and how to promote your NFT project. I'm also doing some interviews with some amazing NFT collections coming up soon. So make sure that you stick around and check in on how these uh, new videos are going to be because it's going to be some really amazing stuff. I have learned some amazing things from these interviews and I'm really looking forward to sharing them with the NFT Champions community as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.